Hey YouTube, it's your girl Dr. J and I am showing you guys in this video some of Salamander's electives that he's going to start to work on his fine motor skills. I'll be doing a video for Faster Fox as well because they both are being promoted to the third grade because they have finished all of their second grade work. So they have done everything that will be required for lower elementary, K through second, and it just didn't make sense to wait until the fall to promote them, especially for us, math drives grade level. And Salamander is in third grade math right now for his spine. And Faster Fox actually finished her spine, third grade math, and she's actually working in fourth grade math in her spine. And they have done every single thing that will be needed for every subject for second grade. So I just went ahead and started them on their third grade work. And this is one of the reasons why I do plan so far in advance. I start planning for the next school year about six months in advance. And so it's nice because I can just automatically move them on to the next thing when they're ready. And so... With fine motor skills, you guys know all three of my kids have dysgraphia in addition to dyslexia. And when they're younger, you can kind of work on fine motor skills, you know, kind of just uh, any way. But as my kids are getting older and they're maturing, I don't want it to be boring for them. And I don't want them to be sitting there playing with tweezers <laughs> and putting beads in boxes and stuff like that, which is some of the things that we could do with ease at the younger level. So these are some of the things that he's going to be doing. Um... Uh, Sal uh, Salamander is going to be doing for his fine motor skill work. So this is uh, paper airplanes. These books are all about paper air making paper airplanes. And so these are great for um, fine motor skill development. Um, so you guys can see uh, kind of the different folds similar to like origami and stuff like that. So because the folds and this one has um, paper and stickers and stuff with it. And then this one is a, another book on kids' paper airplanes. Shows the different ways to make and also has paper. And this one has flight logs and all that other sort of stuff to go along with it. And then all different kinds of paper. And then this final one is a Klutz paper airplane book with the stencils on the side and then all the different types of paper and how to make the different planes. The next thing he's going to be doing is claymation for characters and I love this book because you start with they teach you how to mix colors and then they teach them how to make the basic shapes that you need for all the characters. So he'll practice the basic shapes and then move on to making some of the more complex characters and different things like that. And I also bought him the clay and this clay had um, the best reviews on Amazon. So I got that and we'll just refill it as needed. And then he also has the sculpting tools for fine detail. This... Um, is a karakuri how to make mechanical paper bottles that move and this is kind of a different type of um uh origami because you guys know he is my builder fixer mechanical engineer all that kind of fun stuff so i wanted to make sure that his electives were fun even though they were therapy and so this one i really liked the way it was done because they give lots of really good details and detailed instructions and then they have, this is cardstock in the back and you just cut out the shapes and put it together the way that it needs to be put together. And then you can color your models and decorate them and all that fun stuff. But there's lots and lots of different models, some colored models in the back. And they also have information on how to make more elaborate um, creations in the directions as well and what and what you need to combine for more elaborate projects but um these are some of the basic projects like the train goes around uh the town and stuff like that and the bear uh, moves his head and the penguin flaps his wings so i thought he would like that 
duct tape projects oh my goodness salamander and tape it <laughs> i'm hoping this can help um reel in some of this tape because salamander you will leave the room and 10 minutes later come back and you have to go through a tape maze to get back into the kitchen or something like that so he's always doing stuff with tape which is which is great but we're trying to reel it in a little bit so he has a bucket full of duct tape and we got this uh duct tape projects book and i liked it because it was interesting projects a lot of times you see things and it's just like purses and things like that but this one has all sorts of things this is a duct tape baseball glove this is a chess board pencil grip um so it was things that um he could you know find little things i saw a helmet like these are like a viking helmet and stuff like that so these were all projects that I thought he could really get into and have some fun with it. This is a duct tape ball, you know, so he can make games and activities. So I thought that would be really good for him. And still that fine motor skill work. Um, Faster Fox really loves sewing and Salamander has gotten into sewing some things as well. And so I got him a beginning sewer book with projects for boys that you know might interest boys a little bit you know pajama tops and that sort of stuff um bike bags so just little things and then it has all the um you know uh, pieces that he would need to cut and get everything well so he has that and he pro he'll probably take some sewing classes at joanne fabrics that's where um Faster Fox to, took her sewing classes to get the fundamentals down because I don't sew very well. But then I got these. This is uh, just making like a mini basketball set. This is a race car kit. This is a candy maze kit. And we've actually done a large project with this. Uh, Salamander and Engineering Dad, they actually made a go-kart. Um, from a kit from these people a real working go-kart that salamander actually rides and so i know their things are well done that's why i trust it to buy the smaller kits for him to use this is another kit a build it yourself woodworking kit with um real tools uh, we don't use the fake plastic stuff anymore because he's moved on to building real things and this is just this 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 is just for things I'm going to do for electives and more for fun sort of stuff, he's going to do a much more elaborate elective with building. But I'm still in the process of getting all of his um, lap booking materials because I have to make everything for that, that he's going to be doing with the Ultimate Building Book. But this is just, these electives are only for fine motor skill work. That is it, nothing else. Um, this is a monster truck construction set this is a fighter plane and a crane so again just something to get those fingers working and then this is a book that I got it's look what you can make with tubes and it's various crafts and then he has the box of different size tubes and different things scissors paper all that stuff stays in this box um, and the last thing I got uh, he's actually started to make some of the things out of this book and you just um, take these out and you can tape them together or glue them together to make various chains and this one is on cars so these are the ways that we're going to be working with his dysgraphia to exercise those fine motor skills and get those fingers working he's still gonna need accommodation dysgraphia does not go away but we can do these things to kind of help him be able to have much more functionality in his fingers. So he just needs lots and lots of practice and work and that sort of stuff. So maybe if you have a older child that um, still needs work with their fine motor skills, maybe you can find some things in here that would be of interest to them that you guys can start working with. So I will let him show you guys his creations and different things that he does. This is going to be, these are straight electives. So he just will be able to use these when he wants. I will definitely um, 
encourage him to do them at least twice a week um, just because we want to get that good practice in. Um, he's also learning the type that's an accommodation that we're going to be doing that will follow him throughout his work. But uh, this is just kind of fun ways to exercise those fingers and keep them moving as freely as possible. Hope this helps. This is Dr. J and I'm out. Bye-bye.